Welcome to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Acposio. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. And I'm here with uh, amateur heavyweight boxer, Rory White. And um, he's going to be, he just actually, I just watched him do some great rounds with Sasha Teslenko, which is an undefeated heavyweight professional fighter that's going to be fighting soon in October. And um, it looked really good. And I want to know from Rory now what's going to be happening. He used to fight with um, the Ontario Boxing Association. Yes, yes. And now he's going to be with uh, Boxing Ontario. And he's going to be fighting, I'm sorry, it's November? Uh, November 10th to the 13th. Uh, it's going to be Pickle Street, I think. Uh, Pickle, yeah, that's what's called Pickle Street in Toronto. Uh, 2016. So I'm hoping that I'm not working on, on uh, those <laughs> days so that I can get down and watch. Be it, yeah, there's going to be a lot of exciting fights. So, um... Have you had any fights since you've gone over now to Boxing Ontario? No, nah, this is actually going to be my debut. Um, my goal is to try to basically win both. I, I won the OBA Golden Gloves in 2015. Uh, and then basically what we're trying to do is be the first person to win both, actually. And then from there, hopefully early 2017, like in April or so, make the pro jump and then be able to go in there and start doing it for real. Nice. Now, have you, have you seen any of the... Um, the Boxing Ontario heavyweights uh, compete before? I watched a couple of guys online. Uh, the coach was telling me about two different gentlemen. I'm, I just came up the ring and I'm sick right now, so my memory is a little bit shot. But he did say that there's two bit different heavyweights in there that are going to pose a challenge and that are going to be able to allow me to show my skills, my length, and my strength and whatnot. But more or less, like you said, I was just in there with Sasha. I spoke with Mark Francia. Um, I was supposed to be actually sparring with Dylan. I didn't actually get to go down, but I've been sparring with a lot of heavier guys. So what I'm looking forward to actually is just being in there with some 200 pounders and being able to just let myself be comfortable with my hands. Excellent. And um, and so I know that you're sick. You're getting over the flu right now. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> but do you feel, how, how do you feel about um, the upcoming Ontarios? Do you feel? I, I feel amazing. Yeah. Uh, at, at this point, where I'm at with my skill set, with my coach, with my family, with everybody, including yourself, well, I feel as if that I've grown in the direction that people wanted me to grow. And now we're going to be able to go and present the product that we need to present. So I'm just really excited to go in the ring and just entertain everybody, give them the show that they want. I'm an entertainer. Like, I love to make it exciting for everybody. So mm -hmm. hopefully I can do that in a controlling way. Okay. And in a way that it really shows a lot of uh, value to the sport. Like, everyone likes a knockout, but everyone likes a setup as well. So Excellent. Pay attention. And... Um... <laughs> And so, as as a, as an up and coming fighter that's out there, how many fights do you have right now? And um, can you tell us where you're training and who your coach is? Uh, my coach is Richard Lewis, a trainer of Marfa Varsity. That's uh, here on 100 uh, Mill Creek uh, in Brampton, off of Tompkin. Actually, this is West Creek. Sorry, uh, uh, we're in Brampton, um, off of uh, Tompkin and Steels. Basically, it's a it's a full fledged uh, uh, facility in regards to where you can work on uh, cross training. We have uh, probably about eight, nine, ten bags, a fully sized ring. Again, I'm working with Richard Lewis. That's 50 plus years experience. That's a teacher. That's a mentor. That's a that's everything you need to try to grow into this sport. Like I said, he took me from a very infant stage and has been able to help me get to the point that I'm at. So, and was he your first coach? He's my only coach. When I'm not boxing, I do a lot of reading. Um, I'm really big in the comic books. I love to work out. I have. All the equipment in my house. I love to lift. I love to pull up chin-ups. I like to run. Music is a huge passion of mine. Okay. I like to mix, make you know, CD mixes and whatnot. Like, or spend time with my family, cooking as well. Like, nice. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty quite introverted guy, but at the same time, I love to, you know what I mean, give to people. Like, I love to entertain, basically, cooking big meals for people, or playing music, watching what dance. Like, working like the bat, and they're a great support, and I thank them for all the support that they've given me as well. Uh, they, they, they've added a, a sense of stability to me where I'm able to focus on my goals and, uh, and chase that and hopefully uh, I'll be able to reflect the type of uh, type of uh, ideology that they have there in that regards because they, they look towards greatness and they, and they always want everyone to do the best so the fact that I'm able to try to do something like with them as well is has been amazing. Been amazing. Like, Excellent, man. I, I honestly, I'm just a humble guy. Like I really, I don't know. Like I'm just a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking to see how far we could go, and then we all can look back one day and say, "Hey, man, 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 man. yeah, absolutely." <laughs> I think that's fantastic, and it's great um, for people to get to know the local amateur talent that's here because you never know you might be looking at a future world heavyweight champion right here. So um, check out the Ontarios in November 2016, and look for this man, Rory White. 
Remember, you can ask us any question related to boxing by sending us a message through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O or through email at posio at hotmail.com. Thanks for tuning into this episode, and we'll catch you on the next one. Below the Belt Magazine, big up.